What could he possibly know? We know. What's the mission? No one can tell us. If we, we have an army that if you give them a mission, or a navy, or a marines, or whatever, they are spectacular, and they will execute whatever mission you want to tee up for them. When they do not have a mission, their mission becomes, remember, two, uh, two-thirds of our soldiers, when they go back, re-enlisting, they say the reason they're going back to Afghanistan is because they're afraid that their buddies who are still there are going to get killed. That is the reason why American soldiers re-enlist. When you interview them and say, why are you going back to Afghanistan? They say, I'm going back to Afghanistan because my boys are over there and they're going to get killed and I have to go help them. That is not a mission. But we've got to stop. That is insane. We've got to stop these endless deployments. I mean, this is not a mystery why, maybe why this one guy did it, but this was inevitable. You know, from D-Day to the end of World War II was 11 months, and they rotated them out. We keep sending, of course, they did not well, crack up. It might surprise your audience to hear a second conservative to send the president that, in fact, we do have a timetable for pulling our troops. That would start next year and finish up by the end of 2014, and the military tells us really that it's fast as they can do it and do it safely. Uh, I'm not a military expert. I don't know the answer. Yeah, I don't believe that. that. And there's yeah. plenty of military yeah. experts who disagree with that. Yeah. I guess the question for anybody who wants to stay is, right, yeah. but the question is, why are we staying for one more bloody summer? Remember, right. in Afghanistan, you know in the winter you don't, yeah. right? It's now springtime, spring over the air, tulips, I can feel the grass no. under my feet. Uh, why don't we stay for another bloody, murderous, hell, yeah. I mean, summer for what? Tell me the reason why we're just, just why the president, president wants to be there. No, 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 no I'm suggesting the president has the authority to lead us out of there. I'm not suggesting, I, I can't say whether the president, I don't know what the president And he has the capacity, but I know what he has bold, right? but he's not doing it here. And by the way, what Ron, Ron Paul said, you know, we marched in, he said this is about Iraq, but it serves for us. We marched in, we can march right out. And there's a reason why most soldiers are for Ron Paul. That's not a coincidence, but that's his position. And, he gets the and what they say about Vietnam was Vietnam, the first half of Vietnam was fought to win the war, and the second half of Vietnam was soldiers going haywire without a mission, getting further and further towards uh, our friend uh, Captain Ur uh, Kurtz uh, and our yeah. friends at Apocalypse Now. And now we're going to try it again that. Eight, Eighteen veterans commit suicide every day. Seventy-nine try. But there's actually kind of an interesting uh, additional statistic to that. Uh, the uh, healthcare plan for the military told me that the military has investigated that actually suicide rates are higher for people who have not deployed, who have not seen action. And there are a lot of reasons for this. They tend to be a younger cohort, so younger people have a higher suicide rate. But in looking at the uh, just terrible, terrible tragedy of this soldier uh, killing 16 people, I think it would be very unfair to be smirched the rest of the military by this man's actions. No, yeah, no, no one is doing that. that. You were suggesting I'm that the the I'm besmirching the president. I'm besmirching the president. No one's besmirching. I'm besmirching the president. No one's besmirching. I'm besmirching the president. No, don't, 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 don